Welcome back to Concept Time, everybody, where we take a look at some of the greatest Fortnite concepts of all time, and I am incredibly, incredibly excited for this video, guys, because as you know, we don't upload it often, but I do love some Concept Time. Guys, if you are new to the channel, we have a Discord server you can check out in the pinned comment description down below if you would like to share your own concept, and this is where we take a look at everybody's Fortnite concepts. We're going to get into that in just a second. Before we do, though, I do want to say hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's start off concept time over here with Aox. And I apologize if I'm pronouncing this wrong. A Aox? It doesn't really matter. Anyways, let's get into the video, like I said. Starting off with a map concept. And we can see it is a original map concept. I always really like the water POIs, guys. I always find it really, really fascinating. Like, ever since playing Chapter 2 Season 3, I've wanted to play on more maps with just more water in general and i like that there's like a bunch of little islands i just like traversing you know what i mean and we see a lot of original pois here to have this color of grass i don't believe that we have had a color like this before same honestly with the desert biome it's a little bit of a unique sandy way and you can see that could you imagine playing on this for a second guys imagine playing on this with all of these mountains and all of the different elevation points we have over here crystal cave is a cool py too this is a really really interesting map concept and we it is the big bang probably the season name for it and we can see in it this is why i need to do concept time more because now i'm into some old survey skins but it's still very very cool for a battle pass i don't think we've even gotten any of these doesn't really matter though let's continue on over to the items we have the kinetic trident a high damage mobility item a diamond sword a high damage a slow usage rate sword chug jugs abilities defend on type and <laughs> elmos okay all right a little bit of an interesting collaboration but it's not out of the question for fortnite we have the new weapons reaper sniper rifle scoped drum shotgun laser assault rifle the deadful shotgun and hyper smg combination of some new and some oh no usually i'm used to taking a look at some more with concepts but that's all we got for this summer let's take a look at what pod has to say and pod we haven't seen a concept time for a little while we have fortnite vendor tech atoll season one and you can see a season one map the map is quite bland but that is it does make sense for a brand new map, but this also doesn't have the POI names over here, which, of course, we're going to go see, and there is way more. Okay, let's take a look at the storyline. As a last resort, Dr. Vinderman advises a Vinder Tech Paradise to allure people into his scheme and trap them inside until he finds a way to stop the storm and the zombie outbreak. Five years later in the present, Dr. Vinderman was taken out by the zombies, so the project got forgotten, and so was the people in it. Every 20 to 30 minutes, they fight to the death over and over again as a distraction from what really happened. So, honestly, it's kind of, and I like that there's not canon to Battle Royale, but save the world. I like that it's uh, really, it's kind of, what do you call it? It's related to the loop, which I really like. And of course, like this is the save the world storyline. Supposedly, I, I've only heard, I've never experienced it, but I do believe this is kind of accurate towards it we also have the map concept with poi names over here we see again a combination of new and old pois i think that there's a landmarks okay and this is where the map gets really really crazy because we can see a ton of work and i like that there's still question marks and some pois probably for the storyline to be honest with you now we get a little bit of a deeper dive into salty springs a small but lively suburban area with everything needed to cleanse your needs of course it is salty springs in the way that we all no and love salty springs we also have crinkle croft during the loop's first origins the hottest farm was crinkle croft a flat but wide farmland with many ways for tactical play such as hiding in the hay bales or sneaking through the extra long grass let's continue on to foggy flats a homely and loving neighborhood if there was people actually here the flats are wearing down from the fact that nobody lives here a ghost town the gap in the walls allow for quick escapes from enemies and an easier way to move around that's an interesting idea for poi i do like that we also have cranky carts a lonely or rundown mining village which helps us give minerals for construction sites mine carts can be found here mine carts is an interesting one that i've seen i've seen people suggest mine carts or something to the extent of that before and it's never really been brought into fortnite which I think it could be pretty interesting, to be honest with you. Also, I love the way Pod does this stuff, man, because you have, like, just a little bit of slant here. I just like the design, man. Like, I, what's funny is sometimes I'm more interested in the UI for concepts than I am for actual concept time, man, which it's, it's not true, but, like, I just pay a lot of attention to it. We also have Keys Kickstart, the most popular self-service garage in Vendor Tech at Toll, but it hides a dark secret. The, the cramped and high building style makes for very diverse gunfight scenarios. Absolutely love that. Now, we have Breezy Berg, a noisy neighborhood high above the ground, keeping held up with the mountain, a compact 
fancy area. We love to see that. Now we also have the loot pool. Okay, so it's a bunch of it doesn't we don't really have the names over here, but we do see some old items. I like that the map is kind of being hidden from that. I think that's pretty cool myself. Anyways, diving a little bit more into it, we have the Maverick shotgun. We have the Tiger Jaw AR, and it's just it looks like we're going through some just assault rifles here. We have the Pounder shotgun. We have the Pacer pistol, the Pounder pistol, the Junker SMG. We have the Junker AR, so a little bit. You you can kind of see what the uh, the gimmick for this season is. The Maverick pistol, the theme for the season, and then we have the mine cards. Typically found in cranky cars, or can only travel on rails and do not move when derailed, but go instant, insanely fast when pushed or when switched on near lever activator. That's really cool. I love to see that. We also have a new feature: hot wiring. Sometimes cars will be locked. This means you have to break into cars and hotwire them, which can take up to 10 seconds. Don't worry though, it's not all downside. Hotwire cars go faster and take up much less fuel. Do you remember when this was a huge, hugely suggested feature? And then Epic Games, I, yeah, no, they don't do that anymore because of course, like, because of the metaverse. I'm just kidding, <laughs> but you get, you get what I'm saying. And that is it for Pond's concept. Thank you very much for sharing the concept pod. Oh, hang on, we have pretend they're there with the other ones we also have crescent city the biggest baddest and craziest place in all of intertech at toll after they get stuck on the island to wait out the zombie apocalypse they decided to cheer themselves up and little sand tunneling is activated here it's a very cool like poi I like the moon shaped i like the crescent city it's a cool design for poi and we also have a revamp of steamy stacks funnel fumes a newly refurbished power plant which powers the island with electricity go into one of the stacks and be flung up to the air just like steamy stacks how we all love it and then we have Fortnite Alternative Chapter 5 Season 1 Looped Map Concept. And it does seem like that this is a different version of the OG. Okay, yeah, it is a different version of the OG app. And I gotta say, and we've taken a look at some of these concepts before, the, I don't know exactly how it's different. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about here. It's obviously not the same art style, but it's beautiful. The way it's recolored, the way it's retextured. Does anybody agree with me on that? Like, I think it, it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Let's get into the storyline over here. The Big Bang played way different than we expected. The first half played the same, but there was a rocket tried to hit the zero point. Kevin the Cube strike the rocket, which ultimately tempered the time machine. This causes the time to be corrupted, but luckily the meteor arrived in time to destroy the cube and the rest of the zero, uh, excuse me, and reset the zero point. Sorry about that. This causes the island to be remixed, not destroyed. Welcome to the new Athena. Iconic POIs and landmarks have either been remastered or remixed into new POIs. This also includes weapons, plenty to explore. Love to see that. And then we have Fortnite looped. I still want to see this version of Dr. Sloan. Have we seen this version? No, it's the sand version we haven't seen. All right, maybe we saw this one. If, I, if we did see this one, I am forgetting about it. There are some survey skins that we still need in this game, man. That's for sure. That's for sure. Let's take a look at the loot pool. Most of the OG weapons have been heavily remixed, so we see a bunch of the different. And st it, these stayed the same, the tactical. Okay, so I'm sorry. These ones have been remixed. These ones have stayed the same. Yes, we love the hunting rifle staying the same. Don't touch my hunting rifle. Then, of course, we have a bunch of the other loot pool over here. Shockwave grenades always being a great part of it. Damage traps coming back. We would love to see that. I love the looped, the artwork for the logo over here looped. I think it's really, really cool shadow. Let's keep going through this. And we have POI info once OG now remastered. Almost all the POIs in the map have been remastered with the new looks and designs. Tilted, greasy, salty, wailing, retail, junk, flush, shifty, lucky, and tomato town. Returning POIs are Dusty Depot and Starry Suburbs. Let's go. We love to see that. And of course, we have more make way for new POIs, fencing fields, rebel roost. Okay, so it's mixing it in with the chapter five POIs. I like that personally. For the for the paradox, we have some POI descriptions over here. After the big bang, the zero point lays floating above Loot Lake with remains of the cube everywhere. Loot Lake House is still alive, just sitting on the bay above. Of course, <laughs> Loot Lake still sticking around through the tests of time over here. Classy courts, a new version of Lazy Links arrives at the cafe at a pool and a soccer court, with the main house in the center having the most loot. Continuing on, we have Ruined Reels. We all know Ruined Reels, and we all have... Oh, we don't know Lovely Lodge. I thought this was going to be Lonely. Lonely received an upgrade with more cabins and a lake for fishing. This POI is a place for you to enjoy. If it's for fishing, I definitely definitely would enjoy that so we have slipstream speedway the raceway near paradise has been affected by the time machine now becoming a slipstream raceway good for rotation out of the storm that's actually really really unique for a poi i've never seen anyone even come up with like a different idea for the racetrack there to have it all be a slipstream actually i love that that's my favorite thing we've taken a look at today 
The yacht has returned, but instead is owned by Marigold instead of Minus. She is a boss here with the Mythic Keycard in the Mythic version of the Scar. Also love to see that. We have Paradise Piazza. Paradise Palms has now been heavily altered, now having different architecture and style, but still having the sum remains of the original. I still want them to bring back Paradise Palms, man. We also have Fencing Fields. We all know and love Fencing Fields. It's a great POI. We have Snobby Steps, okay? Oh, this is the same Snobby Steps, is it? Snobby changes to have a similar architecture from Paradise Piazza and Fencing Fields with a great amount of foliage everywhere. Yeah, so it's the same one. Okay, now, one that I will not listen to, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I might get copyrighted for this on YouTube, even though, like, there's no intention to get copyrighted. So I would love, love to listen to that, but I am not going to listen to that for today. Guys, that Shadow, that was fantastic, by the way. But guys, we're not done with concept time yet. Let's take a look at some member concepts if you have been watching concept time for a long time you would know that taboo dorito has been a staple of concept time and today we move on to the new chapter of taboo's concepts and i am going to be stupid again arethusa arethusa i don't know how to say that i am so sorry and i don't want to be disrespectful truthfully of course I have problems with Taboo Doritos concepts. Anyways, we start off with Season 1 Horizon, a brand new map with the POI names we have over here. We're starting off with Flowberry Fields, Rebels Roost. So we see a bunch of Chapter 5 things mixed in with some brand new and unique POIs. Feels like the beginning of a new era in concept time, eh? Anyways, continuing on, we have the landmark names. You can see that, and some of them are too small for me to see over here. Looks like we have stuff like Colossal Coliseum. Slurpy stop, I'm guessing, but regardless, very, very cool. We have the storyline for this new chapter. How did we get here? During the Big Bang, every reality collapsed and then got spit out and reorganized by the Zero Point, including Reality Zero. And now we're here on a new island. Arethusa, built of multiple realities and our own, the Zero Point's location is unknown. We're diving into some new stuff over here. We have the Boreal Forest, the underground base of operations, a mansion hidden in the Boreal Forest. Let's continue on to Candy Coastline. A very interesting idea for a biome. We have Candy Crops. We have Society Streets, Roman Reels, a massive city run by the island's richest, the Society. So we still have the Society going on. I like when these get tied into the actual storyline, but have their own twist to it. We also have Wealthy Woods, the dark woodland forest controlled by the elite of the Society with cabins fit for only the richest of loopers we also have memory meadows that's an interesting one okay the scraps of ether oh i love that i love that the scraps of the ether and asterion were mixed during the big bang and to create a memory meadows and i feel like that's kind of like the idea of camp cod very very cool we also have dealer docks lazy links flowberry fields and power plant and we also have black heart bay there's a lot going on on this map actually we have Pedro's Pickles, and who is it? Oh, it's the collab credits. Okay, I see. So multiple people did work on this map concept. I, it was under the assumption that it was just Taboo Dorito. But we love to see that, especially when it's giving credit to anybody helping over here. So we have the storyline factions. We have Valeria, the leader, Montague, the founder, Nisha, Hired Gun, the dealer, Hired Gun. So it seems like these are still the same characters from Chapter 5, which just looks like we're going to get a little bit of a mix over here. New version of Jonesy, and I don't think that this character was part of the storyline anyways member of the underground shimmer dust is on the hunt for any remnants of kato's empire that includes the society we have hope jonesy member of the underground jonesy is, con is convinced the society is to blame for peely's disappearance and he's going to get them back so we still have a little bit more of the same we have different change logs for i um excuse me for changes throughout the map we have the winter isle so a festive icy town that was drifting on the island just in time for winter fest and this is what they need to do man and i really really love the way taboo lights up what's going on over here i think it's just like really clean really unique you understand what i'm saying over here we also have another change log b32.20 winterfest ends the snow starts to melt and new islands come to drift onto the island which is also incredible is this one we just took a look at yes it is okay so we have a character log for valeria the time machine storyline i've read about this an ancient device said to be able to travel through time itself it's broken but i wonder if could fix it i'll need more research i'm on hunt for power for knowledge and everything i read leads to this the zero point the source of all creation i'm going to find it so diving a little bit more into a fan favorite character so we have more change logs over here loot lagoon taco trench gumdrop gash and it looks like they're hunting for kato thorn and hunting for knowledge which again is very interesting and also the snow is melting this would make for some absolutely fantastic ideas for 
a brand new chapter. And this is what Epic, like, it's a little things like this that Epic Games really needs to do, right? Valeria says, I've searched across the island. I still haven't found it, but I'm not giving up. I will find it. I've heard it's prone to hiding underneath lakes, but if there's nothing here, what better place to look for ancient powers in the culmination of the past? I'm looking through that as well. Gumdrop Dash, it could be hiding anywhere. I'll search every reality until I find it. And that brings us to Chapter 5, Season 1, Horizon. We love to see that oh that's perfect <laughs> that's okay but anyways thank you for pinning that taboo that was a fantastic concept that was an absolutely fantastic concept and we've i loved all the concepts we look at guys i really really do love making these videos but guys concept time doesn't have to end here if you would like to watch more concept time check out this old video where we take a look at some awesome fortnite concepts i will see you either there or in the next video guys take care